Hello from Gardening at Dwensa here in Ireland and now due to popular demand is a video, an update video on the propagation of the Insette banana, the radical propagation I did five months ago. So here we are in the middle of May and for anyone who's just tuning in now for the first time I'd like to remind everyone that five months ago I undertook a very extreme propagation of my Insette banana which involved completely destroying a particular banana but in the hope, in the knowledge that it would produce lots and lots of pups and I'd end up with dozens of plants. So that happened five months ago. but. What happened then two months ago was I decided to pot up the first of those pup babies and I did that and I didn't want to make a video about it because I wanted to work out the best way to do it. But now it's May and we're in a situation where we have various ancetes to pot up and we're going to do it together. And here in front of me on the table are some of the quarters of the Insette that I propagated five months ago and if you want a better idea of what I'm talking about here then I'll link at the very end of this video to the original video and then the uh, update but this is a quarter of the Insette banana that went in here and here are the pups it produced so many months later five months later and here is a second quarter this one is slightly smaller than the previous and the third quarter and these are smaller but there are more small plants and what happened to the fourth quarter you may ask well two months ago I took the fourth quarter and divided it and these are the plants that I was left with so eight plants in total the largest of which is quite tall and the smallest of which is really quite small. So if we just take a look at the ones that were potted on two months ago and the ones that weren't and actually <laughs> there's not much difference in the size so I don't think I've lost any time by not having potted all of these three up before now. But today what we're going to do is we're going to take the bananas in these three pots and divide them and put them into individual pots in the same way that I did two months ago with that lot there. And just a final note on the Ancete bananas colour, the ones that have been kept on a north facing window, the ones in these pots here with less light are redder than the ones that were kept under my grow light. So yeah. And so once more into the breach it's time to get the knife out again and I have my trusty kitchen knife here and I haven't used this since five months ago when I first took it to my poor unsuspecting Insette. Absolutely killed the plant and ended up with loads of babies and today we're going to start dividing these up. So I've taken the smallest pot and the first thing I'm going to do is to just ease the bananas out of the pot by just squeezing it like that and pulling a little bit and as you can see we have a healthy root system whether the roots relate to each and every one of the bananas remains to be seen and what I found last time round was that some of them were better rooted than others so anyway okay so the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of re release a bit of this compost and as I do that trying not to break the roots because we've gone to all the trouble of growing these new roots now if we just zoom in here this is what remains of the parent banana these bits here it didn't rot it just dried out I thought it might rot and I would have danger of the pups then rotting but that didn't happen okay so I've kind of knocked off some soil and I guess what we really need to do now is to try and pull these apart let's just separate those roots a little bit 
and a bit more, and a bit more, and I think here again, look, that's more of the parent banana, which has finished its usefulness, but isn't it always the way we produce babies, that's what we're here for. Oh, that sounds a bit ominous. Okay, um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is divide them with a knife. Now, there's no pulling these apart. They don't want to come. Ah! Okay, so I just broke that one. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, I am going to take a knife and well let me just remove a bit more soil you know the reason why I did this on my own two months ago was to work out the best way to do it but obviously I haven't retained that knowledge because here we are again two months along just kind of winging it Okay, there seems to be a place that will divide quite well here. So I'm going to cut down there with the knife and hope that roots will come. Okay. Right, so here's our first division which is actually composed of two bits of banana, you see? One larger and one smaller. Now, and here's a third one that was trying to grow upside down, which is a bit silly. So what I'll do in this instance is actually I'll pot these two up together because if I were to divide that small one, I think it would have no roots. And the idea here is to try and get root on each, in, you know, on each division. Okay, so there's one. So now moving across, and you see that white core there? That is the parent plant as well. Now last time I just cut this off at the end because, well, I wasn't sure what else to do, but it really seems quite healthy and alive. So, well, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Okay, so now we're going to try and get this one off by cutting. So that's a bit cut and a bit torn and here we have a division with two roots that belong to it and a root that seems to extend from the parent banana but we'll pot this up and see how it goes so that's that one right so What I feel like doing here is going down the middle and just dividing that and then we'll see where we are in terms of roots. So this might be a bit tricky to show on the camera. I'm just cutting into this heart. And there we go. And here we have one banana that has come away two bananas okay there's one with two roots and a new one growing which we'll pot on and this one seems to have just one root and a lot of desiccated roots but it does have a new one starting so we will pot that one up that down here then we have this thing here and this one here is going to come off, I think. Yeah. Okay, so there's one with some bits of root, which we'll pot up separately. And these ones. Now, in this particular instance, we have root 
on this one but not so much on this other one so I think I'll pot those two up together and then finally well I'm gonna have a lot of bananas aren't I I hope you're enjoying watching me work this out on my feet. <laughs> right, okay, so I think what we do is cut down here. Come on, come on, separate. Okay, I'll try it a bit on this side. Aha. Okay, so we have this, which is actually two bananas together, but we'll pot them up. We'll pot them up as two together like that. Put this over here with the pile. And then finally, we have two quite large ones, which I would like to divide because they're quite large. But I would also like to not break them because they are quite large. Oh, decisions, decisions. Right, I'm trying this with my hand. I felt something go snap and I feel it was in the wrong position. But, yeah. Okay, right, so I've managed to snap that off. But it has come with some roots. So I will pop that up. And then there's that one, finally. So have a look at all those ones there I've gotten from the one pot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, several of which are actually two bananas in one. So from a quarter of the my original Ansetti bananas, I have nine pops, which is a pretty good result. Okay, now I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the final two pots and I'm just going to fast forward because really you don't want to hear me do all this. So here we go. bananas let's just say and we're going to start potting them up and I'm just using um, pots I'm not sure what size they are putting a bit of compost this is just general all-purpose potting compost in here and I'm going to take some of these bananas and start potting them up and here's a little one to start with now last time I did this and the tray of eight that you see there a lot of them had roots that were as bad as this and still they managed to survive so I think and in fact Ansete bananas are known for doing just that if you do manage to rot the roots off one summer you can actually get it to encourage it to regrow roots and I've had that happen with one of my big plants in the past so the fact that the baby plants will grow roots fairly quickly should come as no surprise now so okay so in we go with this one and just firming them down 
And what I really need with these once I get them all potted up is to start feeding them because bananas love watering and feeding. And that's that one. And here's another one. Go in here like that. Okay, well, I guess you get the idea. There's no mystery to how these are potted up. It's just general potting, farming around with the fingers and putting the plants aside. So I guess we might, we might do a fast forward, might we? Have to find <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen plus eight is twenty-six. And <laughs> I think that was a bit of a result, all right. So next thing is to just keep them watered and well fed. Obviously I have more than I need. So if some of you come along to my open day on the 9th of June, you'll probably find some of these Insetti babies for sale there on the day. Thanks very much for watching and if you are thinking about propagating the Insetti banana in this radical way that I've just done it, do it. Don't be afraid. Try these things. It's all a good learning experience and you know what's the worst that can happen. You lose a banana. Maybe don't try it with one of your kind of like 15 foot ones. That's your pride and joy. But with one that perhaps isn't doing so well or is very small. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.